so it ain't working <laughs> 4 30 it ain't working see you tomorrow no i'm just kidding we're gonna get into it so we got a trip breaker so now what we're gonna do is just kind of do a visual make sure none of our wires are burnt up um this is three pay three phase 460 so you get up there and spin the fan motors and uh just start eliminating things make sure we're not grounded or anything before we reset that breaker um it was trip so it's a good indication something screwed up so we're just gonna real quickly here um ohm out the windings on this motor so we got about three between there so we're gonna go Sorry, that's one hand here. Here. Okay. There we go. So 2.6 there. There's the ground. On our way to the compressor, we're gonna go ahead and just look at our wires, make sure we don't see anything that looks burnt up, any wires that are cracked or rubbing open wire nuts nothing so that brings us to the compressor so now we're going to find a good place to ground our lead here all right so i'm going to go ahead and use copper for my ground all right so we'll tell if we're grounded i'm going to check each one of these uh-oh All right, so we're definitely grounded there. So we're gonna go ahead and leave this one disconnected and we're gonna move to the next compressor. We don't wanna just assume that that's the only ground and then be like, oh yeah, we can run you on one circuit. We wanna go ahead and check through everything. We'll do the condenser fan motors as well. So 460 isn't a joke. I've taped off the ends of my wires and tucked them back up there, put the cover on. We're gonna go over to the contactor. We're gonna disconnect it from the bottom of the contactor as well as disconnecting the contactor. Maybe disconnecting all those wires and the contactors excessive, but it's a safety thing for me. Plus, if somebody comes behind me to check my work and rehook everything back up to a compressor that I know is grounded that I've checked myself, I want them to work at it. So let's get on to the next one. This is our second compressor. This has two circuits on it. That's our outdoor fan motor power right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and check to ground. We can actually use an actual ground. Um, it's grounded to the housing right up here. Yeah. Trying to hold that on there for y'all to see. In this case, Alex is watching really. So we're gonna check each side here. Because these, mind you, it is just these wires to the windings, to the motors, and any other connections that they may be met. So we shouldn't have anything to ground, we don't. So, I've, of course, I've disconnected the contactor here. Um, that's to the compressor that we had grounded. That leaves our indoor fan motor, our second circuit, and then our uh, condenser fan motors. So, those are good. So, we can go ahead and check the indoor fan motor as well. So, we're on there. Come over here. There, nothing. Check the other leg, nothing. All right, so I'm pretty confident that it's that compressor. So, what we're gonna do is this is gonna call for first stage. When first stage doesn't make it, I believe it's gonna call the second stage so it'll run with just one stage. Uh, for the time being. So let's go ahead and apply power back to the unit. All right, so breaker, turn that on. Before we uh, apply power, what we wanna do is come up here and check in between the legs. Let's see if I got it in here. So four eighty in there, got the good ones. So we do have all our power there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check across these fuses because even though it tripped the 
uh, breaker. We want to go and make sure our fuses are good. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and set that to okay. Good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not good. Good. Let's check that one again. And not good. Okay, so we need to blow a fuse. Okay. All right, so the end result, we got it running on one stage. We got a compressor to get ordered. They've already approved it, said go ahead, bring it on, and we are headed down to that unit. So, let's do it. Be in my next video.